This is Chernobyl Reactor 4 in October 2014. You can see the original chimney was taken down already. And there's just this replacement chimney that they built. And coming up you can see a few cranes. Cranes that have been put there recently, they are in operation, in order to construct a new safe confinement that is coming up right there on the left. This is one of the parts of the new safe confinement. But uh, the new safe confinement will actually consist of three different layers. We will have a look at that later on. And uh, as we drive past this and onto the other side of the new safe confinement and reactor 4, you can take a look at these white cranes just on the back of the lower arc there. And now we're making our way towards uh, the typical tourist viewpoint in front of reactor number 4, which you can see coming up there. That's where the tourists always stand for a quick shot, because it's uh, yeah about 3 to 4 microsievert per hour uh, on an en energy compensated device. But I'll show you that in a second too. Here you can see the new safe confinement. But for now, let's do the tourist stuff. You can see the workers just sitting around casually there. They're probably on a break or something. But, uh, well, the annual limit is uh, 20 millisievert, I believe. So, I guess it's a rather safe spot behind that thick wall. There's a wall in front of that reactor, actually. I'll show you that in a second. But for now, well, you can see it's about 3 to 4 microsievert per hour on a gamma-only energy compensated meter. Okay, let's turn off all that noise and look at the reactor. You can see that white crane moving there, so you can see it's actually in operation. And that chimney, the replacement chimney, as I said, the real one, the original one, is gone. But yeah, if you take a close look, just uh, in front of that reactor is a thick wall. This uh, thick wall is actually supposed to shield the workers from the radiation coming from the sarcophagus. You can see it just there, it's about half the height of the reactor building. But well, as for that crane driver, it's supposed to be about or up to 100 millisievert per hour on the roof of that reactor number 4. Not inside, but on the roof. So he's probably getting, I don't know what, hundreds of microsievert per hour. So probably he can only do one shift in that crane and then he has to go and work in another crane, I would suppose. But yeah, let's look at the new safe confinement. This is just a sign from the operator. And there you can see uh, the main arc, basically and the workers working on another layer. As I said, it's going to be three layers in total. There are these light, um, I don't know what the material is called actually, they're using, but uh, these light little uh, tiles being inserted into the main structure. You can see it takes a while, so I'm probably going to speed it up a little. So yeah, they're making good progress with the new safe confinement. But uh, there are rumors that due to uh, the war and everything going on in the east of Ukraine, the funds are insufficient uh, to actually complete the structure. But I don't think it's going to be an issue because surely the European Union and other countries will just jump in and pay for that. I'm sure the, the entire world is interested in that, so I'm not too concerned about that thing not being finished. So, yeah. I will just leave you to the sounds of the construction of the Arca.